Mm. Rick and Morty has been through some serious Justin Roiland being removed from production was extremely worrying, and me and several friends were sure that the show wouldn't survive this sudden change. But the core of the show's team was able to stay, and season 7 has the same witty sci-fi concepts and dialogue that we love. The new voice cast did an excellent job. The two new voices for Rick and Morty are, aren't seamless with the previous seasons, but after watching a few episodes, it was easy to forget that. When watching old episodes, I just separated the two voices in my mind, and there was no real problem. The side characters are always a standout, but there were less of them this season. Most of the episodes are about the central characters, which is nice after the massive cast of season 6. So much of the season was devoted to watching core characters bounce off one another. And the character development in Rick and Morty is still going strong. Morty and Jerry got some much needed attention this season. Morty is obviously one of the most important characters in the show, but he was kind of sidelined last season, so it was nice for him to take center stage in the last episode. Jerry is one of my favorite characters in the entire show, and the few times the story has focused on him has yielded great results, so I'm happy that they took more opportunities this season. Visually, Season 7 isn't the best in the show's history, but it still has fluid and colorful animation. The character and effects animation in this season is the best it's probably ever been due to an increased budget. Nothing in Season 7 will reach the cosmic heights of Season 5, but this season's visuals are still nothing to laugh at. Some of the standout episodes of this season were That's a Morte, which manages to and turning it into 20 plus minutes of engaging storytelling is a feat. Unmore Tricken functioned as a great end to the Rick Prime storyline. The final battle was very creative and full of the crazy sci-fi that makes Rick and Morty great. Evil Morty is always the best, so getting more of him was a true delight. Rick's final scene with Rick Prime was amazing and brutal. You can really feel Rick's fun and nihilistic personality turn into pure hate, and it was chilling. At first glance, it was strange for this not to be the final episode of the season, but it makes sense from a thematic lens. Evil Morty said it himself, killing Rick Prime didn't help Rick or give him closure. Putting this, epi putting this episode in the middle of the season made this even more clear. Killing Rick Prime wasn't the end to Rick's story, it was just another step. Rick Fending Your Mort was a great return to the clip shows of the early seasons. There were some really funny clips this time, but the interactions with the observers were the best part of the episode. Some of the best one-liners came from this episode, and Rick's interactions in it, full of such fun jabs and great comedic violence, all the moments were with the Pope were hilarious, especially the over-the-top Italian. I wish we could have gotten more time in Valhalla, because the Nordic tech that Rick was able to build is awesome, and the episode could have gotten much more use out of it. Fear No More might be the best season finale to ever appear on Rick and Morty. The season 5 finale was amazing, but this episode was a home run in every sense. The comedy, the horror, the character work, all of it was on point. The idea of the fear hole is one of the show's best concepts, and they used it perfectly. The concepts presented this season are some of the most creative. This season is high concept sci-fi at its best. It felt a lot like earlier seasons. This season is an example of how much Rick and Morty has grown, both emotionally and comedically. This season was full of highs and lows. There were some dud episodes, and what is in my opinion the worst episode of the entire show. The falls in quality were less jarring than in the other seasons, however, because there was a looser tone this time. Season 7 felt more experimental because of the changes in the voice actors. But despite all odds, what should have been the beginning of the end feels more like a new beginning for the show. With a promised 10 season arc, we can expect much more Rick and Morty ahead.